Okay, so MJF is a uh, now a spokesperson against Jewish <laughs> hate, <laughs> like Jews, Jewish people getting bullied, and you know, yeah, uh, hate crimes and stuff like this. But uh, okay, the thing I thought about this: this is all great and everything. Obviously, it's a good message, but yeah. it's MJF, <laughs> right? Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I'm wondering if this is because some of the criticism they took from that that skit or that not that skit, the interview, you know, with that with with um, with Juice Robinson when when he was going to hit Robinson, him with, yeah. with quarters, right? Yeah. Quarters. Like the way the same way he was bullied when he was a kid. Yeah, yeah. I don't like, know if this is a response to that. that. This seems like something that was planned already. Um, but I, I, yeah, I, I don't know what I think. Well, obviously, you could, somebody could just say it's a response to obviously what's the stuff going on in the Middle East and all that. You know, we're not going to talk about that, but I'm just going to say that, it, you know, it could be a response just simply of that, which is fine. But you're right. I mean, every time you see MJF's face, you kind of just like it makes you chuckle. You know, he's there with some athletes and the Patriots owner, Robert Kraft, and it's just like, what, what, what is this scumbag doing there? You know? Well, that's okay. My that's not, is that my scumbag or is that not my scumbag? Let me ask you like a general wrestling thing because yeah, uh, he was a heel. The, the worst, about as bad a heel as you could be um, yeah. for a, many, a, long, a long stretch, years. And then they switched some face and now he's completely a face. Like even Tony yeah. Schiavone is like completely on his side. Which, correct. They did this kind of quick, like for a guy like MJF to turn from heel to face. I think people yeah. kind of forgave him. It seemed to me a little quickly and got on his side. And I know there was a whole thing about Adam Cole being popular, and he just kind of latched onto that popularity, you know, as his friend on the show. But I don't think it's really that. I mean, it's part of partly was that. I think it's just that people really dig MJF and when they rather cheer him than boo him. And this was just give them a reason to. But do I agree with it uh, booking-wise? No, not really. I, I, I've i said this is the last couple things. Even even though the Adam Cole thing was hailed or at least thought of in, in good terms, I didn't really particularly like it. Uh, I know they had that, you know, that match. And obviously people were interested in that match they had at, at the Wembley uh, pay per view, but still, it was. It's not really. It's really been poor storytelling and booking, and it's pretty much the worst thing MJF's been involved with, probably since the beginning of AEW. All right. Well, listen. I mean, since... We'll we'll get to that more on later on. We're gonna talk. We're gonna discuss this. The, well, the thing I want to discuss yeah, yeah, yeah. from this segment is more like, was it too soon yeah. since he turned face that everything that he did as a heel is still kind of fresh in people's minds for him to be no, doing uh, well, no. something like this? No, because as I said, people want to cheer this guy. They do because they they know that he's the best. He is the best. He's by far the best. It's not even close. Like on that roster, in that, but the, the problem is there's a lot of things holding him back, and it's mostly everybody else that that works there. That's why he needs to go on and go to WWE because. But as as far as no, it's not because like I said, people like people that everybody just wants to cheer for this guy because. For different reasons, but okay. If you want to thing. cheer for him because you think he's a good worker, but I'm just saying, how, how does it make sense, just mm -hmm. uh, marketing-wise and logistically, that he was such a horrible bad guy to a lot of people and right. said so many bad right. things to people that uh, you could use him like this to be like an ultra face in real life and send him to be well, the, well, well, hold the on. face Who of. Else would you who else would you use? He's the one known really Jewish wrestler. Well, I don't know. Really don't. Known. I. I. I'm just saying. Like it doesn't. It doesn't look like it makes sense to me. I don't know. I'm not saying don't do it at all. But. Uh, uh, I think it's fine in this. What if he? Case. What if he was a heel right now? What if he was a heel at this minute? Yeah, sure. You then you then you definitely uh, you know, you're breaking kayfabe there, and it's okay. You're, you're so if of... so if you turn face in the wrestling business, people just kind of. I guess it's true. People just forget about all the things you did as a bad guy. Like once you have that sure. moment where you turn face and, and you help the good guy beat up the bad guy, now you're on his side, so they're going to just forgive you for everything. So, yeah, okay. I mean, but that but that always 
didn't sit right with me. No matter what era well, of wrestling I was watching. Well, like, sure. But what about like when Hogan yes. turned face again after he was he was NWO. Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah. That sucked. I never bought him again as a face. I always thought it was really stupid. I, I never So you're like, saying you saying you could never go back to being a face once you've turned heel. You could, but like sometimes it's it's too much. That that's been an issue in the past. That you go back sure. and forth but too not, much. But not in Hogan's case, I don't think. I don't think you could say that he's like gone back and forth. He's usually been a face the majority of his career, except for the run with the NWO, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. Ho no, Hogan went back and forth too much. He was a, a face, then a heel, then a face again in '99. Then when he went to WWF, they used him as a heel for NWO. Sure. Then he turned face again, and I guess that's where it ended. In TNA, that's then he was a heel. But then, uh, and then he turned face. And then he turned face. <laughs> so, well, no, he so, started face. No, he started face. You see, heel, you're making and, my and argument for face. me. So, so okay, but sure. that that's not the point here. But it just never sit right with me when like a guy like Randy Orton will punt Stephanie McMahon and kiss her in front of Triple H, and then two years later, now he's a good guy and they're having a tag team match in the show, yeah. you know, and all the kids are clapping sure, for him. Sure. You know what I mean? People yeah. should remember yeah. better when people do bad things. And just be like, you know what? No, I'm not going to cheer this guy and let him be a face because he's he was an asshole. Like, what do I look like? A dumbass here? Like, oh, okay, you're just going to – you're turning him face, so now I'm going to cheer for him. No, man. Uh, correct. That's uh, correct, guy. Okay. You are correct. Uh, so that's, that's one thing I'm going to rip on about this. I mean, look, it's a hard thing to rip on because this is, a, like we said, a great uh, – thing to do right i mean especially yeah. with ha everything happening in the world and jewish people have always had always had problems with discrimination well, so well, i think this one this is fine uh, i was gonna say the reason this is fine is because he's a prominent jewish wrestler he's probably i'm not thinking he's only jewish there's probably others i just don't know everybody that's jewish but he talks a lot about being jewish in his promos and in his work and and it, what type of anti-semitism that he's received whatever so this is fine but they're, they're going to put him in one of these things even I, I even if he was a heel i think it would be okay because given the circumstances but definitely when he's a face it's fine you know all but right that's it that's let's, all I let's got. move along let's move along uh we got we got let's some more along. to talk about uh we're gonna try to speed through these shows some things i know we linger on but some things we might want not want to linger on as much 